The Steam Deck. An amazing piece of hardware coming out towards the end of this year, but it's gonna fail in certain spots that I guess nobody even sees, or maybe they just don't want to say anything. Uh, it almost kind of reminds me when I was like, hey, Bitcoin's gonna crash, and everybody kind of came out with their pitchforks, and then it crashed. And everyone just kind of was like, oh, I guess he was right. Let's just pretend that never happened. But with the Steam Deck, I see a whole bunch of potential, and I want to go over the good things first, because there are some just amazing things this device is going to do that has never been done before, but it's still going to fail in the biggest area, and that is most people will be wiping out Linux on it and installing Windows. And I'll tell you why. So first off, it is an amazing price point for this piece of hardware, starting at 400 bucks. I actually went ahead, got mine reserved right here. I, I just got the mid-grade model because I, that's the quickest I could have gotten it for about 530 for this type of hardware, which is great. Looking at the hardware itself and the feature set, I love the layout. I love the touch pads. I like the grip buttons on the back. Everyone's talked about that, how good this is. And I even watched some in IGN Insider stuff where they said, well, this might be clunky because it's a weird layout. But after they actually had their hands on, they said actually it was very comfortable. So I'm very looking forward to the layout, the screen, and the hardware, which we'll get into the hardware here. But you can see it's fluid. It is really, really nice. Uh, going through, so the micro SD portion, I'm, I don't recommend ever playing games on the micro SD. I think the maximum throughput you can get on these is about 90 megabytes per second. So I, I'm curious to see how they're going to promote that because gaming on a, a SD card is just not a good experience. Maybe retro gaming is okay, or maybe older games would be all right. But any kind of modern AAA title on an SD card will be terrible. That's one criticism I have, but that's really nothing compared to what I think is really going to sink it. Coming back through down here, I'll probably be using the dock. And I don't even know if they show it here, but the dock looks amazing. Being able to use this as a computer and a gaming system on the go, I think it's going to be a huge boon for so many. And yeah, here it is. Spread the fields, the internals, everything just looks good on this respect. From the hardware perspective, I said it was great hardware. Why I said that was Zen 2 is kind of old, right? 2019. However, the APU they're putting with this is something really, really interesting. You can see most of the 3000 series came out in 2019, and the APU series, the 4000 series, came out this past year, kind of. I, it was in such limited stock, I don't think very many people got to mess with these APUs. But it doesn't matter, because these APUs aren't even really what Steam's getting. They're getting RDNA 2 on the graphics, which, if you look, RDNA 2 is the 6000 series. Coupled that with the Zen 2 architecture, and you have a magical, magical thing, because I think, and don't quote me on this, but what I think they're doing with this hardware setup is they will be playing to smart access memory, which is something new with the RDNA 2 architecture, and I think they're going to backdate this to where you get a lot more performance. Now, don't quote me on that, but it looks that way from them putting these architecture changes in and shifting it and having Steam with all of this can make for an amazing gaming experience. But at the very beginning there, I did say most people will be playing on Windows. And why is that? Uh, talking to Steam and a lot of the press releases going through, they did say... Easy Anti-Cheat will be available on Linux, and that will open up a whole bunch of game libraries. And from the game libraries, uh, don't pay attention to the top 10 here, because all these are Easy Anti-Cheat games. Destiny 2 actually technically works on Linux, uh, it's just basically locked down in the Stadia environment. But all these others are just Easy Anti-Cheat games, there's no actual reason for them not to play on Linux other than that one fact. So that actually be solve most of it. Also, these numbers have ticked up, and they said they want them at about 100% by the time the Steam Deck launches, which is really interesting because some of these things in the red will not get solved by that. Spoiler, they're not going to hit 100%, and I know this because there's certain things that are out of their control that nobody's talking about, and what I'm saying here is Uplay. Uplay is a terrible platform, but they have 
all the Assassin's Creed series on it. People love Assassin's Creed. And if we put Assassin's Creed in ProtonDB, we can scroll down. And look, it's all gold and platinum and silver, which is great, right? Well, Uplay itself sometimes crashes, gets a little buggy. I don't, I think this is going to be a little bit of a stopping point. And EA Origin is another one that is really kind of waffling back and forth a lot because you had a lot of titles released on that such as like Star Wars Old Republic and some other ones that are still, I think, using the Origin launcher a little bit. I know Star Wars Old Republic has its own dedicated launcher, but they really need to look at that. And really, those two are possibilities. They just have tons of problems right now, even with the silver, gold, platinum. Anyone that actually games on Linux knows a lot of these titles are not perfect and it's not a great experience when you have multiple launchers going through wine it, it can be a little dicey as far as ea goes you can see ea play is coming to here and this is kind of a good thing where origin has been a thorn in many linux gamers sides for a while but back uh this past year they actually said hey ea is actually coming to steam or coming back to steam which is good I i'm glad to see this i'm pretty sure steam had to cut ea some kind of deal to try and get their library back into steam but seeing this come back is great but there's one big publisher that has its own independent launcher that will not come to steam and if anything a lot of the existing game library might get pulled from steam if this happens and of course i'm talking about the infamous bethesda launcher most of these games play like complete poo <laughs> on, on linux and it's mainly because of bethesda launcher no nay it is because of bethesda launcher and i'd love to see almost every one of these games hit steam and for most part it has but my main worry is microsoft microsoft's not gonna like people moving from windows to linux if it happens in mass and let's say the Steam Deck could be a catalyst for that. I think if this starts to happen, what you'll see is a lot of Bethesda's library. They don't care anything about Bethesda or its games. Let's be real. It's Microsoft. They care about dominance at the end of the day. And they'll pull all those Bethesda games back to the Microsoft store, even though gamers will literally revolt. They'll still do it. And I worry about that. That's one thing I really worry about. There's all these different kinds of launchers. And then the wild card in all this, of course, is old Epic Games. What are they going to do with this? And right now, Epic Games, you can have... There's some open source launchers I've covered in the past. Legendary. And there's even like a graphic version of that. I can't even remember what the name of that open source project was. But I covered it on my channel. And that is where... I'm just not sure what's going to happen with the integration because I know Epic doesn't want to do anything to help Steam out. And it's going to take a mass adoption kind of event for Epic Games to work on Linux because right now Linux has 1% to 2% market share. The CEO several years ago said, who cares about Linux? And that's paraphrasing. He said something much worse which I'll try to tag in here. Now, as far as Todd Sweeney goes, which is Epic Games, or I'm uh, sorry, Tim Sweeney. I'm thinking of Todd Howard and Tim Sweeney. Well, that would be a weird baby. But anyways, he praises the Steam Deck as a great open platform. I'm curious to see what happens with this. Epic Games getting on board with the Steam Deck could make it in a lot of the Linux realm. And that's just where I'm at. There's a lot of hype. There's a lot of great things happening. Uh, I love the fact that the CEO is actually speaking highly of Linux because it was only like two years ago where he completely crapped all over Linux and basically called us second class citizens, which isn't exactly great. What I think is going to happen is we're going to see moderate successful with the Steam Deck, but many gamers are going to get frustrated when they have multiple launchers, whether it's Uplay, whether it's some other launcher that's screwing things up, whether it could be Epic, Bethesda, EA which hopefully all EA just integrates with Steam and we don't have to worry about ever launching Origin. I don't. I, it's been a while since I've even bothered with the EA game, so you tell me if it's still a problem. But I'm worried about this because I know what it's like to game on Linux. I know there's still some things you got to do with certain ones, 
And lately, this past six months, I just didn't even want to mess with it. I was just like, ah, screw it. I'm just going to launch my Windows dual boot back in there and, and launch my games. And if I'm doing that, what do you think a hardcore Windows user is going to do? You think he's going to just be like, oh, it's a little bit faster. I get more performance and control in Linux. No, he's going to go, oh, crap, there's games bugging out. What's going on? Oh, it's this crappy Linux thing. I'm just going to install Windows. I know it'll work on there. And that's what's going to happen to a lot of users. I really hope I'm wrong here. But I really think that's what's going to happen when this thing launches at the end of the year. And if Steam could prove me wrong, I would love to eat my words. I would love to see Linux gaming finally become a thing. Because right now, most people... They just use, whether it's VIFIO pass-through or they just dual boot into Windows, but Windows is usually involved for any kind of gamer. And the Steam Deck is specifically made for gamers, not Linux nerds, but gamers. I'm still getting one because I just want the hardware. I don't know what I'll end up with, though. Will it end up on Windows? Will it stay on Linux? I mean, it'll stay on Linux regardless, but... I'm just saying most people probably won't choose that option. But with that said, leave me a dislike because you hated this and you hated me telling you how it's going to be. And leave a comment down below. I totally get the hate for saying this, but someone had to tell people the truth. And I guess that someone had to be me. Ah, uh, FML.